So let me explain what the hell this is. Um, I'll explain it while I'm playing it, I guess, because I see no reason to sit on the file select. So, there's a zero mission randomizer. I don't know when it came out. It does pretty much what you'd expect. And, um, well, one thing it does that you probably wouldn't expect is, uh, it changes the palettes of things for some reason. Um, it's kind of funky. Like, the whole game is just kind of a different color. So anyway, um, I'm not going to be showing the chat in this stream because uh, people who are in the Discord server already know about this seed and I don't want it to be spoiled. Um, so basically, just to explain a little bit about this one... Um, okay, hold on, this is giving me some serious issues here. I need to not be... I need to not have the screen layered over itself. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I found out that the randomizer existed because uh, Vinny mentioned it when he did the Zelda 2 randomized uh, playthrough. And um, so I tried it out. Uh, Morph Ball is always at the very beginning, actually. No, I can see the chat. I just don't have it in the stream. But yeah, uh, Morph Ball is always at the start. So anyway, I, I did a, I did a, uh, I did a seed where it gave me basically every important item straight from the beginning. I didn't find a single energy tank until after fighting Ridley, I think, which was really stupid. But um, otherwise, it was, like, really easy. So then Joel tries one out, and oh my god. So this is the seed that Joel got. Um, now, when you do the randomizer, there's a few settings you can put in. Um, and you have the option to either have it completely randomize everything without paying attention to any item logic you can make sure that it's beatable, or you can make sure that every item is obtainable 100%. Uh, he set it for beatable, but not 100%. And um, this uh, stretches the definition of that. Let's just say that much. It's not as bad as your Super Metroid Seed Ultima. It's, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. But I'll, I'll be going over what's so awful about this one when we get to it. So I have played through this entire thing once before. I basically know where everything is. Like, I don't have every minor item memorized or anything, but I know where all the important stuff is. I forgot I had to go to the left here. Um, I'm hoping to get through this in about two hours. That is, uh, it's debatable if I'll be able to pull that off. But I'm going to try. But yeah, I'm not going to be uh, not going to be answering any questions regarding uh, like where items are or the plausibility of getting through certain sections until we get to that part. Uh, I put it on normal mode. There's no fucking way I'm doing this on hard mode. This is just barely doable as it is. Alright, so let's head down here. The beginning is not too awful, but it's going to be getting bad soon enough. The uh, item that I picked up a second ago uh, that was a missile expansion is usually the long beam, for the record. Uh, the difference between normal and hard is basically the m stuff you'd expect, like stuff does more damage to you, etc., etc., but... Um, um, also, missile tanks only give you two missiles instead of five. Super missiles give you one instead of two. Um, energy tanks only give you 50 energy. It's pretty bad. So anyway, uh, this is usually charge beam. We just got another missile out of it. So I just got power bombs. And um, those are going to be very instrumental in this playthrough. Uh, we need to hoard those things like crazy. Like, I'm going to be using them constantly but I need to constantly keep an eye on them because their importance cannot be overstated. <laughs> Goddamn. And uh, in case you don't know the game uh, very well or really at all, uh, power bombs are usually not obtainable until basically after you get past the like two-thirds point of the game because the normal uh, 
the normal progression of this game is you beat Ridley and Kraid in either order, though Kraid is usually recommended to be first, and then um, you fight Mother Brain, and then you get... Um, you basically go through a sequence where you land in a new area, um, have to do the Zero Suit section, and after all of that, you can then get Power Bombs, which are not required, and then you have the option of going back and, like, 100%-ing. Um, but uh, here, I can get Power Bombs early, which means I can go into Cho Zodia whenever. Um, I don't want to go into Cho Zodia whenever. That would be a bad idea. We're saving that for the end of the playthrough. So anyway, I have my uh, I have my high jump now. High jump is uh, surprising. Oh wait, I don't want to go that way. That that would be bad. I think I get soft lock if I, if I go to the right. But um, yeah, there's a lot of soft locks in this. By the way, we'll we'll be covering that when I get to them. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the high jump is uh, surprisingly useful, mostly because it lets you jump as the morph ball. Um, and that is uh, very important in a lot of places. Alright, I should be able to do this section. I think this gets me a super missile? Let's see. I'd like to get rid of these bugs, except they appear to be infinitely respawning. Yeah. Here's a uh, potential soft lock. You have to get the super missile and get out before that block respawns. Because if you get trapped in there when you have no power bombs left, you can't get out. Uh, okay, so regarding the whole... Like, I forget what the name of it is, but the, like, Children's Privacy Act thing. Um, I've really not looked into it, but, like, I think Joel put it best. Like, there's absolutely no way that YouTube or the FCC or whatever the hell it is is going to, like, go after random people and, like, sue you for thousands of dollars because you mislabeled a video or whatever. Like, that kind of stuff is only going to happen to, like, very, very major channels. So I think most people are pretty safe. I haven't actually decided if I want to make my channel considered child-friendly or not because I don't know which the better option is, but I don't think it's much to really worry about. Nothing down there, by the way. Um. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of not going to worry about it too much. It, I feel like... People are really overreacting to it. Like, do you realize how many billions of videos they would have to go through and, like, sue each of these people individually if they, like, want to be super nitpicky about it? Like, that, it's not happening. Honus Wagner card, man! Yeah. Always a classic video. Okay, so... Now that we have the high jump, the ice beam, and at least a small number of regular missiles, super missiles, and power bombs, we have pretty close to uh, the majority of the stuff we're getting through this playthrough. It's kind of It's kind of great. Also, E tanks extremely welcome. I am. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for these. I know that I can get a maximum of four in this seed, and I think one of them is right before the final boss.
Alright, so now we get to have fun with, uh, ice beam antics. Come on. Is this a save room, or what is this? Map room, I'll take it. I mean, this is probably my favorite 2D Metroid. It's close, closely tied with Super Metroid, but I kind of like a lot of stuff that this one does better, even though Super is a little bit more involved in some ways. Um, yeah, let's head over to where the various suit usually is. I ready for Super Mario Maker 2 Zelda Tricks Boogaloo? I've barely played Mario Maker 2. I need to do more of it. The Zelda thing did look pretty cool, though. Mm. Um, I keep forgetting that I didn't finish Banjo-Tooie. I should get back to that. Are you going to go up there sometime soon? Here, let me reset this thing's movement. I know I've done this before. It... I don't know if this thing's, like, movement pattern is set when you enter the room or how this works. But I need to get it to go up there. Come on. Annoying. Oh, maybe I can get it to go through the floor like that. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, now that it's up there, we should have a little bit of an easier time. Ugh. Don't leave, please. I think I can get up there without freezing it. Let's see. This is a good held note. I like this. Okay. Oh, wait. Come back. Please. Okay. Uh, my answer to ukulele and the impossible lair is the same as it has been the last, like, 20 times people have asked me about it. I will maybe one day eventually get to it. I have a lot of other stuff I want to try first. It's not really on my list of priorities. Okay, there we go. I hope I have enough health to do this, because uh, I can't actually get through this room all the way, but I can get an item from it. Actually, can I avoid picking up all these? That would be great. Uh, so I don't think I can get through this section. Well, no, I can get through this part. I can't get through the next one. Because I can't bomb jump, so there's no way to get up there. So instead, we're just doing this. Fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, people are just kind of asking me, have you played this, or are you going to play this? And I'm trying to not die here. All that for a missile. Didn't need to do it. Oh god, can I even make it out? Uh, that's gonna be a maybe on that one. Not worth the trouble. Big yacht play DMC2. Oh god. Okay, we made it. Just don't pick up any bugs. Oh god. No! <laughs> the bugs killed me. 
Uh, we're gonna keep trying this. We can do this. It's not worth it, but we can do it, so I have to do it. Okay. Let's not die from bugs. Anyway, um, I've played a very small bit of a Professor Layton game. I don't remember which one. It's not a series that has really captured my attention that much. I mainly just remember the dying dog puzzle. Oh god. So I think we're pretty much done in Vrinstar here. Okay, I need to hit a frickin' heal spot, like, soon. Curious Village, I think that's the one. Okay, do I want to go to Kraid yet? I'm thinking if there's anything in Norfair that I care about at the moment. Let me check my maps real quick. Hold on. Let me just turn off the visuals here for a second. I need to remind myself where various suit is. Uh, various suit is not in Norfair. Is it in Cred? Oh no, I know where it is. Okay, yeah. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to. Norfair first. And before various suit is a reward for defeating Ridley. Oh cheese, you naive bastard. Let's uh Take a second to get some health here, actually. The reward for defeating Mother Brain? Oh, cheese, you naive bastard. <laughs> Going down into Norfair, um, the uh, number of things I can do here is somewhat limited. Let's go left first, though. Uh, I'm not answering where items are until we get to the point where they are. If anything is uh, completely unobtainable, which is definitely going to be the case for several things, then um, I will point it out when it becomes uh, relevant. Where's the pipe boots? Um, they are in uh, Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Prepare for a lot of that, by the way, waiting for enemies to go up walls so that I can freeze them to get into holes. A hole that is one block tall near the ceiling is, like, the ultimate final boss in this game. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, in the 10% hard mode LP, I don't think I would have gotten Wave Beam. So I'm not sure what you're referring to.
Ah, shit. Let me reload this. <laughs> yeah, hiccuping, yeah. And we wait. Is that enough? Yeah. Come on, dude, get out of the way. Thousand Year Door is the Paper Mario that I like. Super Paper Mario is kind of cool. I've never actually finished it, but I don't mind it. The N64 one just never really interested me that much. It did when I played it for the very first time, but then I couldn't finish it because of a power outage. And I just kind of lost interest in brown. Lost interest and brown. So anyway, here's the plasma beam. You know, that's where that belongs. Except I think this is uh, not very far from where it usually is. Oh, there was? Okay, then. Apparently there was an episode of the hard mode LP where I said that I wasn't... that I didn't need the wave beam, spent 90% of the episode getting it, and then, like, reloaded and then just did nothing else. Okay, so here's Varia suit. I liked the game until the plasma beam got stuck in a wall. I don't think I need a heal, but let me grab one just in case. I don't know if I'm low on any ammo here. Nope, I'm full. Okay, so that's pretty much all we can do in Criteria. Let me show off some stuff that I can't do in Criteria. Thing that I can't do, number one, go down here. Because if I go down here, this is usually where you get power grip. Instead, there's some missiles. And then this big pillar rises out. And um, then I find myself in a land without had. And I think I can get out of this. Just Actually, can I? I don't even remember. Okay, yeah, I can make that. But then if I go over here... Uh, you can't get through that. There's no way. There's no bomb jumping. I don't have power grip, so I can't grab the ledge. No enemies to freeze. You cannot get up there. And then, if you go back through this door, you uh, sure can't get out. You, you might be able to, just barely. But it's not worth the effort. There's no reason to go over there, so we're not going to go over there. Now, on this side of the room, there's an item down here. It's super missiles. Uh, those require speed boost. And there's also an item up in this corner that I can't get to because I don't have bomb jumping or space jump or any method of getting over there. But just be aware that an item is up there. And also, there's a power bomb door up here, which I will never be able to reach. Actually, I might just barely be able to, with a very specific wall jump. I'm not sure if you can make this. If you can, it's not worth it, because I've looked at the map and it's only for, like, a missile. But you don't want to go up there either. So, that's it for Criteria. Let's leave. I believe, uh... I believe next on my list is going to be Kraid's Hideout. Let me double check my map of Norfair real quick. Uh, yeah, nothing in Norfair is critical. Let me do Kraid's Hideout first. Have I heard of Bug Fables? No, I don't know what that is.
Bug Fables is Paper Mario in art style or like gameplay or both. Okay. Well, I mean, given that I don't love Paper Mario that much, I like Thousand Year Door, and I don't really care about most of the rest of the games, I wouldn't say that that is, like, a day one purchase for me, but, I mean, I might look into it if I didn't have, like, 90 other things I need to play. Alright, so yeah, heading over to Crowd. I p tried to play a little bit of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and did not like it. I think you're going to be getting five videos of that in the last week of December. Because it's the, it's the LP that I started after Sly 2, and I stopped after five episodes, and I don't plan on, like, withholding those and making people wait for more when it's an incomplete playthrough, so I'm just going to upload them all at once when we get to that point. Heal off the two damage I took. Well, I got a power bomb back. So here's a stupid thing. Remember how there's an item up here? I don't know how to get that, because you should be able to freeze this enemy, but it never actually freezes. And I can't infinite bomb jump up to it, so I don't know how you get that item. Thankfully, it's a missile and it doesn't really matter. And just to make a slight detour, let's go back to the very beginning of the game. If you lay a power bomb here, there's a ball cannon that leads up into Criteria to the left of where the ship is, and it lets you get into Turian backwards. Um... I can't do that because you need bombs to activate this. I don't, like I said, I just, I tried it. I didn't like it. I didn't find it very fun. I found the controls very annoying and it just wasn't interesting to me. Waste all the power bombs. Alright, so. Time to kill Craig? Uh, not so much. I'll get everything I can here, but uh, we're not killing Craig. So I think I get stopped in this room. I'm gonna power bomb everything just to be sure, like after save stating, but I don't think I can get out of here. So yeah, this is a one way, I can't go up that way. And down here, there's another ball cannon, which I can't activate. If I go up here and get past all the float roaches, I think there's a speed boost block that gets in my way. Uh, yeah, we've determined that. So, uh, so this way is a bust. Uh, if I was able to continue this way, it would lead to an item of some description that's directly above me and a few other items. And it also is the section where you uh, fight the acid worm and activate the rails for this area, and so uh, I will not be able to activate the rails for this area. That will be a problem later on. For now, let's just continue onwards. Alright, so here's the best room of the game. So 
we're gonna go up here after I try to shoot this wall out and not suck. I wish I had another power bomb. Um, but anyway, if we go down here, this is why I wanted Varia suit. So there's the speed booster. And um, these blocks that are in front of me, you'd think you might be able to just break with a bomb or something. That's not true. Uh, these blocks require the speed booster. So the speed booster is blocked by itself. And um, for the record, you would also need a gravity suit because you have to be able to build up speed underwater. So you can't get the speed booster. Now, we also can't go this way because single tall block, like single block gap at the ceiling. Um, and you can't wall jump up this way. So this section of the map is completely inaccessible. And for the record, if I was to continue going that way, it would lead to space jump. Now, remember in uh, Criteria, the section in the top right where I said like there's an item up there above the power bomb door? Um, those are bombs, and you need speed booster to get there. So to recap, bombs require speed booster, and speed booster requires itself. So you do not get bombs in this playthrough. You never get them. It is literally impossible to get them. You have to conserve power bombs the entire playthrough. <laughs> it is such ass. Also, there's a missile over here that I can't get because it requires speed boost. This randomizer does have logic. You, you can get to the end. It's just not easy. So, let's continue onwards with whatever we can do. Uh, this room, I'm pretty sure I can't do anything. There's a missile tank, but I can't get it without activating the rails. Uh, this is a speed booster block. Yeah. You can't go down this way, so nothing in this direction. So we're going to be exploring as much of Kraid's hideout as possible, but I can't do much here. So yeah, because we can never get bombs, that means that uh, any of those like morph ball cannons in the game are just completely impossible. You can't use them. And that is a problem many times in the playthrough. Uh, here, let's freeze this thing. I think if we go over this way, we get dead-ended. Yeah, this requires the rail. You can't go this way. <laughs> uh, someone want to catch Flustered up? The, lo the short of it is uh, bombs require speed boost, and speed boost requires itself, so you can't get bombs. You just, you just can't. this lead to anything of worth? There's the ball cannon, which we can't use, and I think this is a map room. Yeah. So, I think we have officially seen every part of Kraid. I, I don't think we can go anywhere else. Because, uh, yeah, everything requires bombs or speed boost. No, speed boost absolutely requires itself. It is behind speed boost blocks. It also requires gravity suit. And yeah, I realized after I said every part of Kraid that I probably should have worded that a little differently. That's why I like to refer to these areas as Kraid's hideout and Ridley's hideout, and not just Kraid and Ridley. But, whatever. We're going to be exploring the deep depths of Ridley. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so you take Kraid's penis. No, there's nothing. There's absolutely no way to do it. All 
Alright, so... Now that that's a thing, um... Let's head over to Norfair. Because I can explore a decent amount of that. More of it than I would like, honestly. Well, you can beat the game normally without speed boost. Like, the low percent of this doesn't pick it up. It does pick up bombs, though. Not having bombs is a very, very major issue. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. I really hope I get more power bombs soon. I'm pretty sure I end the playthrough with six, but I go through the majority of it with four. Four is not great, but it's better than two. Coconut gun can fire in spurts. If he pees twice, he's gonna pee. I don't know what the hell that was. So, also, I'd like to point out that normally in this room there is a uh, weird membrane, like, somewhere that prevents progress if you don't pick up power grip, and I don't have power grip. Luckily, the randomizer does have an option to, like, turn that shit off. So, the membrane just isn't here. Oh, there's more power bombs. Okay, I think those are the only other power bombs that I get until, like, Chozodia. Does this require any Tass-esque stupidities? Kind of. Alright, so let me explain this room here. Because there's a few ways to get down there. This way requires screw attack. This way requires speed boost. We have neither. Screw attack is... Almost obtainable. I'll, I'll explain more of that when we get there. Fusion has like 70 power bombs. It, it has way too many. Alright, more supers. Thirty-two is the no. It's thirty-two power bomb expansions. I think each one of those gives you two. Fusion has a ridiculous number of power bombs because hundred percent in that game is I think like forty-eight miss. Can we get up, please? It's like forty-eight missiles, twenty energy tanks, and everything else is a power bomb because the actual like suit upgrades don't count as percent. Anyway, here's gravity suit. Absolute minimum percentage with randomizer giving you everything you need. Um, you would need power bombs. It depends on whether you require plasma beam to beat the black pirates. Um, you might not need that. Um, at least one missile pickup. Eh. Not sure. Okay, hold on, let me do this the smart way. Oh man, really? Oh shit, I didn't want to waste my supers. Okay, fuck it, let's just use missiles. No! Save room. Yeah, don't really need it, but I'll take it. I never remember which are save rooms and which are map rooms. Yeah. Yeah, there's some good palettes in this. I like all the uh, the bubblegum pink and like neon green rooms. So just in a wall. 
I love that item. I don't know why it's there. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so I save stated here because I want to demonstrate where I am. So this is that vertical shaft that we saw earlier where I said like the only way down is through this stuff. Um, because this game is very much designed for like sequence breaking, there's a number of very stupid like alternate paths that you can take, and one of them is up here. Now I have to be very careful by ho with how I do this, because I can get soft locked here. Basically, if I didn't do that exactly like I just did, I would have been stuck. So this uh, this is what I call the Norfair poop shoot. It basically just shoots you all the way down to the bottom of the map and bypasses like literally everything. And uh, so there's a few things we can do down here. Let me just kind of see if I can get some of my ammo back. I don't really need the other power bomb immediately, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so time to demonstrate what you don't want to do. So this is the path that leads to Ridley's hideout. And uh, basically, you don't want to go here. And let me explain why. So after you get through this hallway of vines, you get in here and you do this. The power bomb instantly kills the grub for some reason. And now you can go into Ridley's hideout and all that shit. And it's like, okay, great, excellent. Now, while we're in Ridley's hideout, uh, I can get power grip here and I can get screw attack here. I can actually get every item in the area except for the ones that require speed boost. And I could beat Ridley. I'm not gonna do any of those things and here's why. When you leave, uh, if you go back in here, there is uh, no way out of this room because it's a one-way, like, crumbly floor type thing. And the way that you're supposed to get out is after you beat Ridley, this wall crumbles, and it leads to one of those morph ball cannons that shoots you up, and I can't activate those because I don't have bombs. You can also bypass those by storing a speed boost and shine sparking up, but I can't do that because I don't have speed boost. So basically, if you go down here at all, the game is over. You don't want to go down there. You can't go into Ridley's hideout at all in this playthrough. It ju it, you just can't do it. I could fight the wasp, but I would have no reason to do it and I would still be stuck. So isn't this seed excellent? I didn't do any special settings. This was this was just the result of shuffle items, make it beatable but not necessarily 100%, and like nothing else of note. Uh, this room has an item in the ceiling. It's, uh, I can't even see what it is, but yeah, you can't get this anyway. You have to approach this room from the other side. All right, so let's, uh, Continue on. Get a free refill here. <sighs> There's still more fun in Norfair. Uh, hold on, how do I do this section? Oh yeah, that's just a missile wall. Okay. I'm keeping alternate saves because I need to make absolutely sure I never soft lock myself. I think I know where all the major problem areas are, but I have to be careful. Here's another section where we wait for an enemy to get into perfect position so I can get out. Keep in mind that apparently this game doesn't always freeze enemies when you shoot them. It seems kind of random when it does. That will also be a problem later. Keep in mind, I've, this is now the third time I'm going through this seed.
because this shit is incredible. Ooh, I'm a fan of this room. Because you're supposed to speed boost through this and jump through these blocks. Oh, God. Come on. And this is why we say... Oh, I forgot to... Well, I made a save state in the wrong slot. But that should be okay. I know I can get out of here. Again, I don't want to spoil anything about the uh, later sections of the seed, so you'll find out when I get there. Because the stupidity continues for quite a while. So let's just uh, let's just shoot four missiles at the ceiling, you know, as you do. There's a power bomb that I can't get because it's blocked by screw attack blocks. Just to demonstrate. Can't get it. Because uh, screw attack is down in soft lock city. Energy tanks are nice though. I think that's the last E-tank I get until the very end. I know there's a fourth one right before Iron Ted, but it's, yeah, not going to be for a while. Okay, let me remember how this place works. I never remember the layout of Norfair. This place freaking sucks. It's confusing. I know vaguely where the item that I want to get is. But I'm just making sure I pick up everything else. I have not played Axiom Verge. That's another thing that people have recommended to me. By the way, uh, if you shoot out that block there, if I freeze an enemy in a perfect position, I can go over there and it leads to Kraid's hideout. But it's uh, you get blocked by screw attack wall, so you can't actually go that way. All right, I think we want to be going down this way. Now, here's the million dollar question. Can I get the item in the fucking ecto-cooler pool? Let me do that a little bit faster. I don't think I can, but I want to check just in case. I'm gonna say I can maybe get that. I'm not going to though, fuck that. There is another item down there also that requires gravity suit and space jump, so we can't do that. There wasn't an item in there, right? Uh, missile block where? Hold on, let me go back and look. So yeah, you can get that. I don't know if I can get out without dying, but I can at least get the item. Oh, uh, okay, that's doable. Gotta get it now. <laughs> I'm gonna not save state. Um, I'm probably not gonna actually keep that one and just reload, but uh, I guess it's doable. It was just a regular missile expansion. Fuck. I really need to not be taking damage from things. Uh, 
Health would be very nice. Oh, yeah, the, if there was a missile block on the left, then yeah, that leads to the, the space jump area. I like how I'm actually surviving without that many problems. This is kind of good. So, didn't need to go this way, but I'll always take more stuff if I can get it. I think I did a maximum percent run of this when I played it the last time. I'm pretty sure I did get that uh, missile that was under the lava, too. Can we not? Is there any reason to go up this way? There is not even a way to go up that way. Never mind. Also, I save stated, which I said I wasn't going to do. So I hope I get a lot of health. Health would be uh, preferred over missiles. Thank you very much. Is this wave beam? I mean, I know it's not wave beam now, but yeah, this was originally wave beam. Oh, right, I don't have bombs. So this guy is, uh, oh god. Uh, I don't think there's a run of zero mission that's as bad as the reverse boss order in Super, no. Because I've done 10% on hard and it was shitty, but nowhere near as bad as that. NBMBRBO is a good acronym, I agree. And here I think we have another dead end. Yep. This requires, uh, this requires speed boost again. So we can't go that way. That leads to the, uh, other side of that big, like, maggot thing that I saw earlier which I wouldn't be able to do anyway because I don't have a uh, wave beam, so it doesn't really matter. So we go back. Your joke about the path of this run remains accurate. What was the joke again? Just how... I Actually, I saw that comment earlier, I think. It was, uh, yeah, this entire stream is just, yeah, if you do a pixel-perfect jump, you can actually make it to X, but don't do that because you'll make mustard gas and die in real life. So instead, we have to go to Y, which takes six real-time hours of waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not inaccurate. This run is really fucking stupid. We're about to have a real excellent jump in a, in a minute here. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole of the whole run. And it's not even necessary. I just want to do it anyway. Let me make sure there was nothing on the floor here. I don't think there is. No, it's just part of a path that the speed booster takes you through. No!
getting that missile was important. Okay, so normally this is just kind of a little side room that uh, is moderately annoying to get through and requires kind of like precise speed booster garbage unless you have like a different way to get through it, which I guess was a stupid way to say that, but whatever. Um, instead what we get to do is this. We're not through yet. I love that you have to do that. That is, that, that's my favorite. And that's for Charge Beam. We don't need Charge Beam, but it is helpful. So I believe at this point, uh, it's basically time to leave and actually go to the end of the game. There's, uh, Nothing else that I can get that I can think of. But, oh my god, is it hard to get out. You'll see why in a minute. After we go through another 700 rooms of annoyance. How nice of that enemy to give me my power bomb back. They usually don't do that. I swear, nothing ever drops them. Did we really need this room full of just single tile platforms everywhere? Uh, no, there's no power bomb charge beam combos in this game, unfortunately. I never remember to use those in Super Metroid anyway, but they're kind of neat. Oh, hi. Yeah, if you could not. Okay. Yeah, I should get a free heal after this anyway. Okay, so remember how it was uh, determined to be impossible to get out of Ridley's hideout after you go in? Okay, hold on. Can we can we not die? But yeah, it's impossible to get out of Ridley's hideout once you go in it. We've determined this. It's almost impossible to get out of Lower Norfair, but it's not quite. So, uh, the normal way of leaving would be up here which I can't do, because I don't have screw attack or speed boost. So we get to have some fun. First we wait on this enemy to uh, get in a specific position so I can do like a pixel perfect ball jump to get up. If the game lets me. All right, where's the entrance to the Norfair poop shoot again? I think it's up here. Yeah. No, I need you to not take damage. I need you to freeze. It is vitally important that you freeze. It is vitally important that you freeze. Oh my god. Thank you. Alright, so we wall jump all the way back up here. And, uh... Remember... Remember earlier when I said the final boss of this game is, um... Single block 
gaps by the ceiling. Because guess what's up here? Yes, indeed. So what do we do? You, we wait for this enemy to go all the way up. But the path that you have to... Like, the, the last part of that that you have to take it through is only one wide. So you have to be above this thing and then freeze it and... Oh my god. It's... The fact that you can actually do this just astonishes me. This is hilarious to me. Like... I was pretty sure that, um... Once I realized that, like, there was the the gap at the top there, I was pretty sure there was no way to get out of here. And we basically just deemed the seed unbeatable until I realized you could do this, and I was so happy. We're still going. I can probably just wait here and speed up. Yeah. There we go. And also, remember when enemies don't always freeze on the first try? Oh, thank God. Okay. I think we're out of the woods. Whew. Now we can leave. So, in a normal playthrough of this game, you beat Kraid and Ridley... And then you return to the top left of Brinstar and go through their, like, statues and go into Turian and fight Mother Bran. We ain't doing none of that shit, because we can't actually beat either of the bosses. So, instead, we're going to be, uh, heading back to Criteria and going through the Powerbomb door. And, um, it's a one-way trip. As soon as I, as soon as I bypass a certain area in there, there's no there's no turning back. So I just need to be comfortable with the items I have right now. I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything possible. Is this like my first LP with an Arpus sword? In what way? Uh, hold on, let me go open the door. We can't actually go in Mother Brand's back door. There's no way to do that. I would need bombs. Also, we determined last night in a different seed that the only way to actually uh, have that elevator activate is if you've been in Chozodia at least once. Oh, God. Anyway, I wanted to use that power bomb and then go back and heal, because... Uh, we are about to enter a very, very shitty place. So I want to have all the uh, ammo that I can possibly get. Um, I don't care for JRPGs, usually. I just don't find them interesting. No, I've not played Star Fox 2. Okay, let me make a few save states here. Why are people asking? I, I've played a little bit of Vector Man. Why is that one coming up? That's a really th odd thing to ask about. Okay, so there's an item in here that I can't get. It's just a missile, so it doesn't really matter. But um, that right there, that spot that I just dropped in is a point of no return. There is absolutely no way to get back up there after falling down, so I need to commit to this.
And, um... We're about to reach one of the shittiest rooms of the game. I don't know if I can call it the worst, but if it's not, it's very close. Good. People, please stop. Alright, so guess what? We have to get up there. How do I get up there? Uh, very carefully. You seeing where this is going at? Yeah, this is necessary. This is this is the only way to do this. There we go. Okay. That's one. I think this is an E tank. Super, I'll take it. So I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to. Fuck, let's not take damage, please. Because, yeah, we got to do that again to get out of here. I didn't have to go this way, but I, I chose to. God, how did I do this before? Oh, right, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to piss him off and get him to chase me so I can freeze one. So that I can then freeze the other one. Please. Please. Uh, I might want to not actually do this. I don't remember exactly how you get through this section. I know I've done it, but it was not easy. Let's see. Because I don't think there's a... If I freeze this guy and then let him thaw out, will he know I'm here? Maybe I can shoot a missile at him. Because I need him to come down here. I wish I remembered how I did this. That doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so I don't think I can reach this wall. Oh, wait. He saw me, apparently. Okay. Um, you want to come up here? How the fuck did I do this? Yeah, let's let's forget the super missile. I know it's doable. I just don't want to bother with it right now. All right. So basically, the rest of this area is uh, sort of normal, except I have to constantly be keeping an eye on my power bomb totals because you can kind of screw yourself over really easily. Thankfully, the save rooms restore them. Oh, good. But yeah, normally you're supposed to be going through this section as uh, Zero Suit Samus, and the game does not really expect me to be doing this shit. 
So we'll be getting a few interesting side effects here and there. Items am I currently missing? Uh, most of them. <laughs> Let's see, I don't have bombs, I don't have speed boost, I don't have power grip, um, or space jump, wave beam, anything else major? Oh, did I turn off ice beam? No, I'm good. No long bam, that's true. No screw attack. Okay, good. That makes this a little better. Fuck. Mm. Maybe those blocks stay gone. Yeah, okay. I really hate not having bombs. I really hate not having bombs. I hope I can refill them soon. There's, uh, Chozo with a dick. Everyone's favorite. Okay, thank god. And, uh, so that- this is normally supposed to be the first power bomb of the game. Like, you see it, and then when you come around, it's not here anymore. And then when you go up here, you see the guy carrying it away. Um, this guy doesn't actually exist. Because <laughs> normally you can't catch up with him when you're in the Zero Suit, but you can with this. So yeah, he just kinda doesn't exist. Oh shit. I think I said speed boost, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why they had the stun pistol act as bombs. It's kind of weird. Your neutralness, it's a beige alert. So this is a weird room, because, uh... Normally, in zero suit mode, you're just supposed to go up here and then go through that tunnel. Uh, because I have the ability to check other areas, um, I could go up here and do this, but the game won't actually let you go left. Same goes for up here. Or you just, you can't. So, we're going the way that the game wants me to. Buddy. Buddy. Pulled off what awful jump so easily? Which one? Good. jumped and shot the wall with a missile and balled in there. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did kind of make that look easy. I don't know. I'm just, I'm used to this game. Alright, so time for the mirror boss. Which, um, for the record, the only reason you would have to do this is because um, 
Beating this boss upgrades your suit and allows the three unknown items to activate, so um, basically you get Plasma Beam, Space Jump, and Gravity Suit if you've actually picked them up. I have not picked up Space Jump. I have picked up the other two. I don't actually know if I need to do this, other than the fact that the Plasma Beam is required to beat the Black Pirates. But um, I'm going to do it anyway. I regret doing it anyway, because it sucks. Not the boss itself, but you'll see in a minute. Also, these are good color palettes. So the game momentarily forgets that I have my power suit, and then as soon as I move, it gives it back. Also, normally when you shoot yourself in this boss fight, you take damage, but you just kind of don't here. So, this boss is fairly unthreatening. Come on. There we go. You, you gonna shoot lightning? There we go. And I actually got hit by it too, what do you know? Come on. There we go. Okay, so... Time to uh, have the game forget that I have the power suit again, as I turn red. And then we have Gratuitous Ass Shot. So yeah, we get our stuff. So, it really sucks that I never got Space Jump, because getting out of this room really sucks without it. If I could infinite bomb jump, that would be great, but I can't, so instead we have to do this. Oh, okay, I got it on like my third attempt. That jump is a lot harder than it looks. Just, just trust me, that thing took me like fucking ten minutes the first time I played this. but we'll take it. So at this point, we can basically just go straight to Iron Ted. Oh, okay, hold on. There's other items in the base. If I feel like exploring more of Chozodia, which I don't. Um, if I see any along the way, I'll get them, but it's all just missiles and stuff. There's, there's an E-Tank somewhere. I think I remember where it is. Let me actually check the map. I'd like to get the E-Tank. Okay, yeah, I'm getting the E-Tank. Um, actually, there might be a couple of them. We'll see. I see where I, I see where two of them are. I don't really care about regular missiles that much. Where's the thing? Uh, and I have to actually remember how to get out of this area, because I never do. Oh, good. Hi. Fucking wasting power bombs on stupid things. There's an item over here. I can't get it, but it exists. Uh, yeah, I can read BTB, but worse. I did remember that earlier, but I actually forgot until you just said that, so thanks for the reminder. I will do that after I'm done with the game. Ever finish BKA3. I'm gonna call that, uh, let's see. What would that be? Bargo's Kamikaze Airplane 3. Yeah, I did finish that. Yeah, 
Hey, check it out. Let's waste more power bombs. Yeah. I love the stuttering, shooting while spinning thing. It's like one of my favorite things to do in this game. It's so fucking stupid. What can we make? Hey, what well, do you know? I made the uh, Chozo Mirror boss fight jump again. Because that's basically what that was. Flashing red and blue, is it the police? What's that chair rushing around for? To get sit on? Yeah, cool. I need you back here away, right? I mean, right away. Uh, well, I'm in a car right now, but I can drive it to the office. Sounds like a plan. How was that? Can, can we take a little more damage here? Can we take a little more damage here? Oh, okay. Let's not go that direction, then. Because I would like to get my power bombs back. Because I need to use one in this very room. We're getting pretty close to the end. Uh, missiles. How do I get through this room? Yeah, there's missiles. to, uh, get this slow R2-D2 fuck out of the way. And there we go, another retank that I don't really need now because I'm at the end of the game. And here's another really stupid item. So, I like this one. We, we lay a power bomb, and there's the thing. But uh, we can't get it because it's a one block gap. However, there is still a way to get this. If you lay the bomb up here and then hold left, you can get it before the floor falls out. It's kind of precise, though. I know I've done this. There we go. I don't know why I figured that out, but I did. And it was kind of gl glorious when I did. <laughs> Six real-time hours. Come on, game, please. I think I want to be going left anyway. Oh, yeah, this is the hallway of much slowness. Which I hate, because it requires two power bombs. Really wish it didn't. Ugh. Am I even going the right way? I think I am. This place always confuses me. Are we gonna have a party over here? Are we gonna have a party? Where'd you go? There. Yeah, cool. 
I would prefer to not take heavy damage, because I'm getting kind of low on energy here. I think I'm close to a save room, though. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's hit the save room, and I'm going to check one last item location, because I think I can do it. It's just kind of ass. And then we can head to the end. Okay, so let me make an alt save here. This looks like a one-way trip, but I'm pretty sure I can freeze a space pirate to get through this. I want to say I've done that. Okay, so here's what we do. We go in, we lay a power bomb, we leave, we go back in, and now we get to fuck about on this wall until he decides to climb up it. If you would stop fucking shooting lasers! We, we have to get him to climb the wall, and then jump off. Come on. Come on, buddy. You wanna work with me here? Do I have to take damage for you to get closer to me? Come on, climb the wall. Climb the wall. Now, jump off the wall. Come on, you can do it. Jump off the wall like a big boy. Do it. Do it better, you fuck! Come on. Dude. I know I've can I've gotten this to work. You get the idea. Y you can freeze him in midair and use him to get up there. And it's for... Eh, maybe I could, actually. Let's see. Oh, yeah, actually, that looks perfectly doable. Never mind. Okay. So we can do that. And then on the way back, we uh, get to do more of the same. Dude. 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 There we go. We got it. Alright, so five E-Tanks. I thought it was only four. So let's head to the final boss then. Everyone's favorite final boss, Iron Ted. No, I don't have bombs. I never got them. Bombs are blocked by speed boost, and speed boost is blocked by speed boost, so you can't get them. Ugh. How do I get through here again? <laughs> I like that space jump is blocked by fucking your save file irretrievably. Well, no, space jump is blocked by bombs, technically, but screw attack and power grip are blocked by fucking your save file irretrievably. Alright, so let's fight us at Ted. I don't know why this boss is called Iron Ted, he just is. I will refuse to ever call him anything else.
Okay, he's dead. If you don't get the unknown items and then get gravity, you can't ever get the unknown. Well, I know. I mean, gravity is an unknown item. So anyway, we just beat the game. Because, uh... <laughs> remember when I said the final boss of this game is, uh, one block gaps? I wasn't kidding. There is no way through this room. You can't do it. There is literally no way to get out after initiating the escape sequence. The game ends here. You can get to the final boss and beat him, but you can't escape. This is the best fucking way to end this seed. The, like, you would either need bombs or power grip to do this. You can't do it. Unless it's possible to do this and get in there, which I'm pretty sure it's not. Like, there's no way. How else would you do this? It might be possible with a frame-perfect jump. I don't know that for certain, but if it is, my god, is it not easy. So, I think the randomizer basically checks to see if you can get to Ridley, like, get to Iron Ted, and doesn't check for this, because they assume if you can get here, there must be a way back. I don't- I, I assume it was just an error in logic, because they never would expect anyone to get to this point without bombs. The fact that I did was like an affront to nature. So, like, so let's review. You absolutely cannot get bombs. There's no way to do it. If I could get power grip, then I could do this. Getting power grip requires going through Ridley's hideout. So, just to show that real quick, let me... Do a uh, display capture here. Um, is this showing up? So here's here's the map of Ridley's hideout. Power grip is up here. As soon as you go in, you can basically get it. It takes a little bit of effort, but you can get through this room and you can get it. Uh, screw attack is after you beat or before you fight Ridley. You go here, you get it, and then you come out. Um, but there, there's no way out. I'm positive of this because when you go back up to Norfair, we've determined it's a one. There's a one-way gap. Like you can't get back through that. If you go through Norfair, like you come out of Ridley's hideout, and then like you go to the right. There's a ball launcher here, and there's a ball launcher here, which we can't activate because we don't have bombs, and you can't use speed boost to bypass them either, so I don't know how else you could possibly do it. Like, if someone wants to try this seed, by all means, like, I, I showed what the seed number was at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. Like, I, I can't imagine what else you would do. So, like, I don't have any other save states that would let me showcase that. Like, I, the only other thing I could do in this seed is go back to Ridley's hideout and check that out and, like, see if there's a way out, but I, I can't see how there would be. So... I, I could try to do the frame perfect jump for a while, but do I really want to? I know I sure as hell don't. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this playthrough. Um, so I think we're just gonna read uh, Bargo the Bictit, but it's worse. <laughs>